הראשון לציון הנה הנה ולירושלים מבשר את עין אל תשמחי אויבתי לי כי נפלתי קמתי כי יושב בחושר אדוני אור לי ליהודים הייתה אורה ושמחה וששון ועיקר כן תהיה לנו תמיד כוס ישועות עשיו שם אדוני קרא אנא אדוני יושיע נא אנא אדוני יושיע נא אנא אדוני יצליח נא אנא אדוני יצליח נא הצליחנו הצלח דרכנו הצלח לימודנו הצלח אמונתנו הצלח שלום ביתנו הצלח חינוך ילדינו שלח ברכה רווחה והצלחה בכל מעשה ידינו, סבא מרנן, ברוך אתה, אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, בורא, קרי הגפן. ברוך אתה, אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, בורא, מנהו בסמים. אמן. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם המבדיל בין קודש לחול בין אור לחושך בין ישראל לעמים בין יום השביעי לששת ימי המעשה ברוך אתה אדוני המבדיל בין קודש לחול Now, there is a rumor that if women are drinking from the Havdalah cup, they grow a mustache, so I don't know. We have a tradition that women are not drinking from it. Um, yes, so um, can I have a little bit from it, from the wine? Um, this Shabbat was Shabbat Mevarchim. Shabbat Mevarchim is Shabbat that we're blessing. on Rosh Chodesh, on the next month that is coming, next Rosh Chodesh, and it will come up in the, in the end of, next, of coming up week. Now, why should we bless on Rosh Chodesh? What is good in Rosh Chodesh? Why are we waiting for Rosh Chodesh? Because in Rosh Chodesh, Hashem is telling us, Aviu alai kapara al shemi'atiti et alevana. We know that the moon is getting... smaller and then growing again it's disappear it's li his light is disappearing he's staying in the same shape just his light is hidden hiding and then coming back so the creator he did that thing to the moon and the creator himself is saying have you like a please atone for me that because I've done that because I brought darkness to the world so we're blessing and we're happy that the creator himself is is waking up to the tshuva, to ask for forgiveness. And he's asking from us help to come back, that he will complete um, what that he started. And it's a process of tshuva for the Creator himself. He's asking from us to bring a sacrifice for him, to fix what that he spoiled, that he minimized the light of the moon. So we're blessing him. That, uh, like that it's written, Shuvu Elai Vashuvu Elechem, that after we will come back to Hashem, Hashem will come back to us. Are you okay, Yosef? So when we're completing our Tshuva, so Hashem is completing His Tshuva as well. It's sometimes hard for people to understand how can it be, what, Hashem to do Tshuva, but yes, a humble person, He's able to admit in his mistakes, and Hashem is Barach, he admitted that he made some mistakes. And he was a, a man enough to admit that he was wrong, that he destroyed our temple, and that he exiled his children, and that he minimized the moon, and a few more things. And the Creator was strong enough and humble enough to admit that those things were mistake, and he is doing tshuva on it. And he's asking us to help him to atone, that we will open 
the gates of tshuva by completing our own tshuva. When we are doing tshuva, we're helping Hashem to come back. Like Hashem told us, Shuvu elai, v'ashuvu elechem. If you will come back to me, I will come back to you. The same come back that we need to do, that it's tshuva, is the same thing that Hashem will do from His side. You got it? Need to believe in it. Okay, Shabbat Thank you. Please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.